don't buy the low Alpine Sting Dutch Army surplus rucksack until you've watched this video. Look what you could have instead. I'm not saying that the, the Sting is a bad rucksack. No, not at all. Not even a little bit. It is a fantastic rucksack. But let's be honest, it's old. It's had a lot of adventuring in its lifetime. And all it really wants to do now is just lay down by the fireside, watch the rabbits run across the field instead of chasing them like it used to do in its younger years. And a lot of the time, they're expensive and have the side pockets missing. Uh, so, yeah. I'll just show you around uh, this little fellow. Uh, it depends where you buy it as to what it's called. Uh, sometimes it's called the BW Mountain Rucksack. Other times it's the Bundeswehr Mountain Rucksack, which is BW. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's pretty much a, a high quality copy, I suppose you could say. Very similar design all the way around. Uh, we still have the two detachable 10 litre pouches that turn into a little rucksack. They have the connected uh, shoulder straps inside them as well. Um, we are zippy in there. So this unzips. I'll demonstrate that in a moment. Uh, as I say, 10 kilo pouches on the kilo, 10 litre pouches on the side. Uh, top pouch is about 5 litres, I believe. Uh, the main compartment is expandable from 40 to 60 litres. So you're looking at a nice, healthy 85 litre rucksack here. Uh, so great for winter camping or longer treks. Not too heavy either. Um, again, 500 Cordura uh, or Dernier Cordura instead of the 600 that the Sting has, but it's a tiny amount and you won't really notice it. Plus, as I said, the Sting, you never buy a brand new one. If you do, you've got some gold dust, but you pay through the nose for the bragging rights. Uh, we have Molly webbing at the front. Uh, strappy straps, strappy straps, strap, more straps, straps, straps for the straps, more strap straps. Uh, and ooh, they're comfortable on the back, but you can't see that yet. <laughs> so I'll just. We'll do a 360 and then we'll get it up close and personal with it. Okay, so top pouch with bedroll or extra strapping. As we go down, we have PAL's webbing system there. Ten litre pouches with more external strapping. And on the back half, we have an adjustable Vario back system, so you can adjust it. I'm a, I'm a short guy, and this thing has got lots of adjustment and go, even tiny, tiny. Um, I'm not quite sure if you're taller, how it'll work. But yeah, some great foam padding here, and on the top, and on said shoulder straps, all the usual accessories. You've got a nice padded waist belt with lots of adjustability on the straps. Uh, I'm not quite sure what they're called officially. Uh, I call them the stabiliser straps. I think I've seen them called sway straps as well. Uh, all the usual bells and whistles. You've got your sternum strap. You've got your load lifters for there. Oh, let's just fall off the bench. And if uh, Swedish M90 camouflage isn't your thing, they come in a variety of colours. I've accidentally bought two of them. Uh, what I'll do, so because the M90 is already packed up ready for a camping trip, uh, I'll just show in detail the black one. Obviously there's enough light to see what's going on. But this is a different brand, um, purchased from a different shop, um, but it's the identical rucksack, just a few minor differences. Um, basically the black one does not have PALS webbing on there, but your choice if you want to buy that with or without. On the base of the pack, we have a lip with a quite a small section there that you can open up. Uh, we do dual zippings, obviously for a sleeping bag, but that's pretty much all you're going to get in there. It's quite slim. Um, I believe the sting is actually a little bit larger, but it could again just be an optical illusion. Uh, there is a snow skirt in there, which I'll show you in a moment. We have carry handle. We have the straps roping in the pack, quite interesting because they never fall off. I right, can do this with one hand upside down. So once it's undone, you just can pull away. So they're out of the way. 
Same story with this one. Let me go. All right, I'll deal with that in a minute. Uh, where was I? Ah, yes. So the 10 litre pouches, they are hollow at the bottom. Do have a big gap at the back. And as I said earlier, two very heavy duty zips hold the side pouches on. You can always leave them at home. Uh, this one comes with binding straps, so you can compress that down as well. Um, if you're brave enough, you could probably zip that down as well, and this rucksack will become a lot smaller. A lot more, damn! Uh, so yeah, I've never been used, I still weld it together. Uh, obviously they've got the hanging straps there for hiking, for trekking poles, or if you want to put uh, stuff. two pouches. I mean you can always just take one and use it as a satchel but you've got the two packs a duff zip together and then you've got a nice 20 litre day pack um, not the most comfortable piece of kit in the world but it, it does the job uh, and you've got webbing straps there for some bizarre reason uh, but yeah you can set this up how you like this is obviously just default um, pick this one up second hand off of a social media marketplace. So yeah, there's two small pouches. These hold a lot, they're 10 litres. Okay, so, that open up finally. I've just got a sleeping pad in there, just, so just a regular one. I'll just to show you the height. And that will actually take it up to the 40 litre mark where the snow skirt is, if you had nothing else in there, so. But yeah, this, this is, I know it's 40 litres, because I have a, a woolen sleeping bag that is 40 litres just and that fits up to here in it so, uh, so as i said uh, you have compression pat straps at the back here as well above the lid so if you do actually go higher you can just lengthen those out and it will sit so it looks comfortable uh, Just an empty pouch, rubberized lining, so it is watertight. Um, there's nothing special in there, no clips or bladder hangers or anything like that. So, the back again, exactly the same as that one, but a different brand. It's the Vario back system, so it's adjustable with the Velcro. So the rucksack basically just, you just set it wherever you like on the back. So it fits you, so the waist padding is on your hips, so it gives good load bearing. So it's a good system. Let's see if I can work out where I had it before. Clearly not like that. And it'll hold a good weight, yeah, so this hand, speaking of carrying weight, um, this will hold a lot of weight, they're tough. Uh, load bearers, side, sternum strappy with elastic. That's adjustable. Uh, carry handle at the back, carry handle at the front. There's a nice heavy one there. Uh, but inside, let's see if we can do this with the light. It is just a cavernous pack, basically. Uh, snow skirt. There is an internal aluminium frame that is just strapped on there. It is just a, just a U hoop, aluminium U hoop um, to the base here, basically. Um, just to keep the pack in its holding its shape. It does work. Um, there is a pouch behind there that you could put a water bladder in if you wanted to. Um, obviously, remember when you do that, you're going to lose that space on the inside of the pack. So if it's a three litre water pack, you're going to lose about three litres of space on the inside too. Um, yeah, so it's uh, double lined. And I don't know if you can tell the difference. That's rubberized on the snow skirt and then the inside is rubberized as well. 
Um, the only downside I have, complaint I have, and that sort of thing is over the time, it does dry, split, peel and crack, but you've got to be storing it hot, dry, hot, dry, hot, dry. So look after your rock sacks, now look after you. So you can get a better shot inside there for you. Black rucksack on a sunny day, lots of shadows. So there is the I just as I said, there's a zip down the bottom of the pack as well, do, do, do. so you can access from the bottom. There is no access from the front, uh, they literally just is pile in the top or pile out the bottom, whatever. Um, these are PCLE or PALS, I'm not sure because that's the M, that's the PALS webbing. And that's got the same pouches as uh, packets as these. And you get the PCLE one, which basically doesn't have. But I believe that's only the uh, the Sting, uh, not these versions. So yeah, great little rucksack. Um, and the most important thing, which is why you shouldn't buy the Sting before you've looked at this, is this is less than half the price for a brand new one. Um, as I said, if you don't like the M90 camouflage or even the black, they come in a large variety of colours. There's uh, Obviously, there's olive drab green. I believe there's a coyote one. Oh, a sand coloured one. There's some sand camouflages. I'll try and find as many links as I can when I'm editing this for you to show you what selections you can. And I do believe you can get the DPM as well. But don't hold me to that one right now. But yeah, well worth it. So I do believe that the sting comes in around $100 or £100 or €100 Euros for a used one. And most of the time they don't even come with the side pouches anymore. So, but these come, these range from about 30 euros to 50 to 60 euros, depending on where you're buying them. And obviously euros, that's obviously relates to pounds and dollars for our American friends. Canadian ones, I'm not sure. I do apologize. They're a bit different. But yeah, so, but yeah, fantastic value for money. It's basically identical copies, very high quality packs. At less than half the price for a new one. New one. Ooh. Come, have a look what you could have instead. Blah 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 blah. It's a windy boo. We have a shimmery bow. Hmm. Oh, look what you could have won.